In today's edition of Jen at Work, get ready for some foul language, as in F-O-W-L. With egg prices hitting record highs recently, some folks are looking to add a little farm living to their city life by raising chickens themselves. But how do you know if you're up to the challenge? Well, ladies and gents, that's where I come in. I flew the coop recently and checked out a program called Rent the Chicken. It's an excellent day in Agua Dulce. I am here at Lively Little Farm with Victoria Lee. Hi, Victoria. Hello, welcome. Thanks so much for having us out here. I'm going to be your wing woman for the day. Okay, first of all, tell me about your program, Rent the Chicken. Yeah. What is it? Rent the Chicken exists so you can experience backyard chicken keeping without the long-term commitment. You give them six months, they give you these red coops. Food, water, and the best part, farm fresh eggs. This is where it all happens. This time of year, we are cleaning and repairing our coops. We are raising up next year's rental hens, and we're getting ready for spring deliveries. And that is where I come in. Forget Jen at work. But I guess you could call this today hen at work, right? <laughs> Today, I'll be collecting eggs, changing the bedding, and making this barn look impeccable. Excuse me, sir. The moment is here. <laughs> so let's release the chickens. <laughs> Introducing Miss Frizzle, Twyla, Moira, the rest of the cast of Schitt's Creek. Oh, and Rooster Glenn. Glenn has many baby mamas. 20 to be exact. Wow, he's the Dick Cannon. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Chicken World. And like Nick, did you know these hens are musicians? They sing a song before they lay an egg. And they're really protective, so you gotta be extra careful when you're collecting them. I'm a little nervous, huh? I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little bit nervous. Because I know if you're a mama, you're protected. <laughs> the key here is to go low and slow. There you go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. your mighty shovel. Not as heavy as it looks, okay. Now it's on to bedding. It gets changed every two or three months, which is why this chicken barn doesn't smell foul. All right, Victoria. Okay. On to the next. Time for uh, part two. Here we okay. rip open the clean bedding bag. That's supposed to come out. Let's now, Victoria, why, why did the chicken cross the road? I have some <laughs> All right. It's been a minute since I've been in a tractor, you know, going back to my Ohio roots. And use a tractor for help. So, so what do I do? <laughs> All right, wish me clock. So I just move this slow and push it into the... Yeah, around the clock with my feathered friends. <laughs> Calls for an end of the day snack. Literally, you have to call them. It's time for you to fly the pool. But if I asked you to give me a grade, what would you say? How did I do? I know everyone says this, but A plus. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Thank you! And check out repthechicken.com. Oh, okay, okay y'all. 